guys, welcome back to my channel. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure and subscribe. One of my viewers asked me to make a ladybug gnome, so here he is with his little wings, his little antennas. If you want to know how to make him, stick around. I'll show you how. Hey guys, for this video, you're going to need some um, stuffing. You're going to need some fabric for the body, some fabric for the hat, some fabric for the legs and the and the base, um, a couple of corks, a couple of balls. Um, you're gonna need some pipe cleaners, some hair noodles, some little sparkle pom-pom balls, um, some sticks, these little shoes, a couple of these little discs. Um, you're gonna need the to cut out of the SVG or the PDF, this little file here for the wings. And um, just so you know, stack them up when you get ready to do them because they are not asymmetrical all the way around. Uh, you're gonna need some little, bum, um, little ladybugs, some flowers, some string, um, some hot glue sticks and um, some jute pat, some jute string. All right, let's get started. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to start with a 12 by 15 piece of um, fleece. We're going to fold it in half on the long side, on the 15 inch side. And then we're going to cut a curve on the side that is folded. So we're going to go about four inches down and we're going to cut our curve to that four inch mark and we're going to leave the four inches at the bottom because we're going to make a fold and it won't fold well if you if you cut if you curve all the way down to that point so we're just going to curve to that four inch point and then we're going to cut that off and then we're going to go ahead and take our glue gun and we're going to glue those two pieces together we're making a hat and then we're going to turn it right side out so just put glue all the way down make sure you put plenty and make sure you let it dry good before you fold it we're going to turn it to the back and we're going to make our cuff. We're going to fold this up about two and a half inches because we're going to have a one and a half inch cuff on the front. Get that laid out good. And then we're going to glue that cuff in. Make sure it's straight. And then just glue it across the top. And then we're going to glue it across the back. Okay, then we're going to take our needle nose pliers and we're going to turn that hat right side out. And then we're going to make our cuff on the front. Just turn it right side out. And those pliers work great for that. Turn our cuff up an inch and a half. And we're not going to glue our cuff right now because we're going to add some accessories to it. Okay, put that aside and we're going to go ahead and build our body. We're going to take two three inch by one inch um, discs of foam, glue them together, make sure that they're straight. And then I went back and got some... Um, non-woven fabric because I'm going to roll it up in it just to make it really really smooth before I put my fabric on it because my fabric was a little bit thin and you could still see the styrofoam through it so I'm just going to roll this right up in some to some non-woven fabric you can use whatever you want to just put some kind of fabric on it if your fabric is a thin fabric and this is just nine inch by I think 24 inches is what I ended up making this and it smoothed it out really really nice it also gives a little bit of extra body when you're putting in the um, the, the um, stuffing. I'm going to seam it up in the back. Put your hand in there and just smash that out. All right, then we're going to go ahead and take our fabric and we're going to make a nice seam along the 11 inch side. This is 11 inches by 9 inches. Just fold that seam up so we have a nice edge. And then after I um, did this, we're going to put our jeans on the bottom of this. So you really could skip this step if you wanted to. And then we're going to put a seam down the side so that we have a um, nice back on his body. And then we're going to take it and we're going to roll our um, base up in it along the edge and we're just going to do the lower edge only not through the center where we did the other one. Because you can see that glue through on thin fabric if you do. And then we're just going to seam up the back. Just put your hand in there and flatten that out. All right, so we have our body. Now we're going to stuff it. And we're going to put a lot of stuffing in it. We're going to stuff it, pack it in there really, really well so it gives him a lot of um, sturdiness in his body. Push it way, way down there, and then we're going to tie it off. And we're tying it off about two inches, probably from the top edge of the red fabric. And then take a string and tie that off with a string, just to secure that really, really well. 
And then don't cut the top of your fabric off because we are going to use that to secure our pipe cleaners. So leave all that top up there. Okay, we're going to put that aside and we're going to go ahead and build his feet. We're going to take two corks and two stick. Go ahead and drill your hole through the middle of your corks. And we're going to have to whittle off a little bit of the bottom of these to get these down into these feet. Just go all the way around and trim some off and then we need it to kind of be a little bit pointy with a blunt point so we can get them inside those feet. Push on in inside that foot and we're going to try to make both of them as even as we can. Then we're going to take our stick in a minute and we're going to glue it in. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing for the other side. Go ahead and whittle that one off as well so we can get it inside that foot. All right, push that one on in there. You don't have to secure it with glue because those are in there pretty tight. They're not going anywhere. Okay, then we're going to add some glue to the center of them and we're going to put our sticks in. Go ahead and fill that circle up with glue. Put that stick in and we just want to make sure that we get them both even. Leave a lot of meat there so you can get it into the body. But we need to make sure that our sticks and our feet are even in length. If you don't get them exactly even, you can adjust them at the end. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and build his legs. Um, we're just putting a like a blue jean leg on him with a cuff. Um, I just cut these off of an old pair of blue jeans. They're five and a half by five and a half. We're just going to turn that cuff up a quarter of an inch on both sides. And then we're going to make a nice one inch cuff for the front part of his, his pants. Okay, just going to turn that up an inch. Glue along the top edge of that. And we're going to do the same thing for both sides. Then we're going to wrap it around his foot just to make sure that um, we got our sizing right so we can see where we need to put our um, seam down the back. Just wrap it around there. You can actually trim some of this off if you want to. I'm just finding out exactly where the mark is and what size seam I need to put on there. And it's about three-eighths of an inch. Just going to glue that down and we're going to do the same thing for both sides. Just get them even and do the same thing. Just glue it down. All right, then we're going to take his foot so we make sure that we have our seam in the back. We're going to wrap it around there, figure out exactly where that needs to go so that the seam ends up in the very, very back. Okay, once you get it positioned, go ahead and glue down that one side. You want to make sure that you put a lot of glue on this because blue jean material is heavy and it's going to require a lot of glue. And you need to make sure that you spend some time holding that glue till it dries. Okay, we're going to wrap that all the way around. Hold it in place. While it's in, while we're holding it in place, we're going to go ahead and cut off the top of it. We're going to cut down to where, to where the stick is. Right there. And then we're going to start adding some slits in it, just down to the cork. And then we're going to trim off the top part of that. So you really, in, in reality, you really didn't need a five and a half inch piece of fabric. I probably cut about an inch and a half off at least. Go ahead and trim that all the way around because we're going to push this up against the top of the sh uh, the top of the foot, so that when we put it into his um, pants leg, into his body, it's flush. Okay, get that trimmed way way down, and then we're going to put glue in the center, and we're just going to glue that straight down. That way, his leg has a nice um, finish when we actually put it into the body. All right, when you finish that one, we're going to go ahead and put it aside and we're going to go ahead and do the exact same thing for the other foot. Just pull it around there, figure out exactly where the seam goes towards the back, and then start gluing it in. And then be sure and put plenty of glue on it because we want it to hold in there really good. Wrap that around, make sure that seam's in the back. Then we're going to cut off the top just like we did the other one. And we're going to start making those slits in that one as well. Same thing as we did with the other one. Then trim off the excess. And then we're going to glue that in. Just glue, put a lot of glue in there and then just start pushing all that down towards it. All 
All right, we're going to put that aside and we're going to go ahead and um, start building the um, base of our body. See exactly where you want your legs to be sitting. Make sure your left's on the left and your right's on the right. When you figure out exactly where you want them set, just go ahead and poke a hole in there with your scissors. And then we're going to poke a hole in there with the pliers. Okay, check that foot, make sure where you want it, and then make sure you where you want the other foot and, and mark that off as well. Cut that through that fabric. And take your pliers and waller it out so you can get that stick in there. All right, now that we know where those are gonna be, we're gonna go ahead and attach the base of our pants. And um, I used a um, two inch by nine inch strip of blue jean material and I cut it off at the inseam part, so I had a nice trimmed edge on the bottom part. Go ahead and turn it up about a quarter of an inch. And then we're going to attach it at the bottom. And as we're attaching it, we're going to mark where our holes are so we can get our um, foot right through these jeans as well. And put a little um, trim on the edge so we have a nice trimmed in edge at the back. And then hold it up to your jeans so that you know exactly that the seam is in the back. So you know where to start gluing. About right there. And then we're going to start adding the glue. And this is where I was saying that you probably didn't, you could have skipped the part about the trimmed up edge on the red fabric. Because this part is covering, covering it up. And as we pull that around, we're going to mark our holes. We're just going to put a slit in them. So we can get our stick through those pants. Don't skip this part because you'll have a hard time finding where to poke your hole. And it's harder to cut the fabric when it's already glued to the body. So mark it as you're going. Just get it down all the way down to the bottom. You can even bypass it a little bit. Go past it a little bit because the blue jean material is pretty heavy. It'll still stand up on its own. And I didn't put this in the video, but after I finished making the whole thing, I did cut a three inch circle and put it on the bottom. And you can cut it out of whatever you want to. I used the stiffened felt for it. Okay, get that trimmed all the way around. Put plenty of glue on these because the blue jean material is heavy. And then just hold that really good. All right, then we're gonna add a little belt to him. We're just gonna come right around his waist and tie a little belt for him. Make sure that the seam is in the back so that your bow is in the front. And just tie that to a bow. And then we will clip off the ends. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and attach his um, legs to the body. We're going to poke right through those holes that we made through the jeans. And we're going to put his legs in there and same thing with the other side. Make sure how you want them faced out. You can turn them out or turn them in and then add glue to the hole. And put that stick in there. Be sure and put a lot of glue right around the edge top but not too much. And hold that in. Make sure at this point you hold those in really, really well. I'm kind of fast forwarding through that where I held it. But I did. I held it probably for a good 30 seconds before I let go of it. Okay, put that aside. We're going to do his beard. We're going to do a three inch by three inch. We're just going to take a pencil and measure it off three inch by three inch. And then I'm going to come back and I'm just going to make a little U shape all the way around. Then we're going to cut our fur. And remember, always cut your fur through the backing only, not through the face of the fur. And go all the way around there and trim that out. Okay, pull that aside and then go ahead and just start um, pulling off the excess because you want to clean that beard up. Okay, we're going to attach his beard and we're, we're going to do it right below where it curves in. So where it starts curving in where you had your hand holding it, we're going to go right up to the edge of that. And glue that on really, really well. 
Okay, now we're going to go ahead and start building our arms. We're going to do, use some um, two, three inch by seven inch pieces of fabric. We're going to glue down the seven inch side. And then we're also going to glue down the three inch side. And we're going to do that on both of them. And we're using the little um, hair curler noodles. And I got those at Amazon. I'll put a link below where I got those. Some people find them at the Dollar Tree. I haven't seen them there yet. Okay, then we're going to take our little bead and we're going to glue it right in at the very front part of his arm of his hand and then we're going to add our noodle for his arm and then i'm just going to roll that up not real tightly because i don't want it to be a real skinny skinny arm just kind of loosely roll that up and glue that off and then add a little extra glue inside the hand and on the next one, I'll actually show you what I did differently to glue the hand in good. So go ahead and add your bead for the hand. Glue in your noodle. And then I added a line of glue right across there so that the bead stayed in when it was rolled up. And make sure that they're both the same sides before you, roll, you glue it in. And then glue the back edge of that. Okay, now we're going to take his body and we're going to form them. I just put his hand down to the top of his blue jean and then just bend that noodle up and down against the shape of the body and do the same thing for the other side and then they'll set really good on his arms and on his body. Okay, I'm going to put that in on this side and I'm just going to put a rubber band around it and hold it in. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. I am going to put a little bit of glue at the top part of his arm just to hold it in real good. Then I'm going to rubber band this one in as well. Before I time off, I'm just going to make sure that his arms are straight. Add a little glue underneath his arm. And then I'm just going to tie him off. You don't have to do it real tight. Just tie him off just so that he stays on there. He's not going anywhere. You got glue on there. All right. Okay, we're going to go ahead and attach his hat. And what we're going to do first is we're going to take some pipe cleaner. And I probably cut about um, two inches off of mine. I measured them in here, trimmed them off, and then I cut them off a little bit more. We're going to stick them down into his um, top part of his head. And that's why we left that fabric. We're going to put just stick those right in the middle and glue those in really, really well. Just go all the way around and then squeeze that shut. And that way we can bend his hat. Okay, go ahead and put his hat on. Pull it all the way down, just over the top part of his beard. And then we can give it a little bit of a twist so it can bend. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and attach his nose. I did forget to tell you you're going to use a nose at the beginning. I'm just using a three-quarter inch felt ball. Just stick it right up underneath that hat. And we're going to add a little bit of glue to the top part of the nose to hold the hat in and secure it to the nose. Alright, we're going to go ahead and put him aside. We're going to go ahead and build our antennas. Take those little balls, roll them up really good, and it'll make them open up more. Sometimes they get flat in the bag. You can take that stick, that's a quarter inch stick, and we're just going to take about an inch up, and we're just going to wrap that as close to each other as we can. Just wrap it or wrap it around all the way around until you get to the top. And then pull that off. And we're going to do the same thing with another one. Just one inch up and then start wrapping it. It makes for a nice antenna using it, this, doing it this way. Then just kind of pull them open a little bit. Get them even. And then we're going to bend the top forward a little bit, just so you have one loop. And we're going to attach our little pom-pom um, to it. Just hold that on there. Let it dry. And then we're going to do the same thing for the other side as well. And you can make these as long as you want to. I mean, if you want to pull it out longer, you can. Or if you don't want it as long, that's your choice. 
Okay, secure that on there really good. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and build our little wings. This is where you use the felt that's stiffened. And just make sure that when you, if you cut it with a Cricut, make sure that you stack them just like that they cut because they are not asymmetrical. The bottom and the top are not interchangeable. And if you don't have a Cricut and you can't cut them out, just cut out the, with the PDF. And you can put some dots on it or little pom-pom balls or whatever you want to that you can, that you can find. Little pom-pom balls would be kind of cute. Go ahead and glue those together. If you don't get it exact, you can come back and trim it a little bit. But we're not using a lot of glue. Just lightly put a glue in here because you do not want it to come through those holes. And get that sandwich together really good. And we're going to do the same thing for both sides. Just glue that in real good. And you can get that stiffened um, felt at Hobby Lobby. Or if you don't have a Hobby Lobby, I'll give a link to um, the Amazon store that has some. You could even use um, foam if you want to. Craft foam. Okay, we're going to get those glued good together. And then we're going to put them up in the back of them. I did have to trim mine off just a little bit. Okay, we're going to just turn him over, and we're just going to lift those up underneath his hat. And we're going to glue those in. We are just going to kind of fan them out a little bit so that you can see them from the front part of his body. When you get them even, just glue them in. I'm just going to glue the top part of them in. And glue the hat up underneath it too to it. And we're going to do the same thing for both sides. Just glue a little bit extra glue underneath there. And same thing for this side as well. Okay, once you get those glued in, we're going to go ahead and turn them around and we're going to add his little antennas. We're just going to stick them right in the front part of his hat, put a little bit of glue on them. Glue them in. And then you can bend them however you want to. Alright, then I'm going to take some um, little flowers. I'm going to show you right here. If you get flowers at the store and they're all wrinkly like this, the, the, the fabric ones, you can just take a heat and bosser gun or a blow dryer or whatever and just blow dry them. They'll open up really nicely. You'll have a, a nice smooth flower. Okay, we're going to take our little ladybugs and we're going to go ahead and take the, the um, sticker off the back of them. I'm going to use 10 on mine. And if you don't take the sticker off the back of these, you will see this on the red hat. So be sure and take all the stickers off of those. Okay, then we're just going to start decorating up his hat. I'm going to put a flower in his hand. Just glue it right to his hand. And then just start accessorizing however you want to. I just put ladybugs everywhere. Um, you can use these ladybugs. There's a lot of ladybugs out there that you can use. These actually were really, really cute. Um, actually, they were a lot better than I even thought that they were going to be. I put them on his beard, on his hat. Um, I put flowers on his feet. I glued the side down there, put a flower in there. Just put him however, accessorize him however you want to. Everybody's taste is going to be a little bit different, and you just do it however you want. But be sure and add a lot of them, because he looks better with a lot of ladybugs on him. And put a little flower in his hat. And just kind of decorated him up. Alright, there you have him. Cute little ladybug gnome. If you like the video, hit like. If you want to see future videos, hit subscribe. And if you want to be notified when I have another video, hit the bell. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.